Let's see, talking about the three pan strategy, I've mentioned it in a couple of videos. Michael Hagen wrote in and asked if we could go into more detail about the three pan strategy. Now what the three pan strategy is, is in a couple of other videos, I've mentioned that with three pans, you can cook darn near anything you need to cook in a frying pan on your stovetop. And you can also go to the oven if you have these three pans. These are the three I would choose in order if I had to choose three frying pans. I would start with a good stainless steel frying pan. Very versatile, more of a jack of all trades. Now, admittedly, there's some overlap between all these three pans. Lots of them can do the same thing, but each of these is kind of better in one area than maybe some of the others are. So there's some overlap, but each pan has its strengths and weaknesses. The second I would add would be the cast iron. This is a good old Lodge cast iron 12 inch skillet. And the third one I would add would be a carbon steel skillet. This one is a map for 11 and 7 eighths. Now the reason I would choose these three pans, I would start with the stainless steel. I said it's versatile. It's more of a jack of all trades pan. You can do eggs in it. You can do high temp sears. You can do all kinds of frying in it. May, may not be the best one at each of those tasks, but it does okay at all of those. And it's more versatile because you can use it for acidic ingredients. Anything with a wine, wine sauce, wine reduction, making a pan sauce, deglazing sticky bits with wine, you'd want to do that in stainless steel. Also anything with tomatoes, uh, going to make some sort of pasta sauce where you've got fresh tomatoes in there, anything with vinegar, anything with citrus, Lots of things can only be done in the stainless steel. These other two pans, they need to be seasoned. And it doesn't matter if you've seasoned your pan 9 million times. It's just a chemical reaction. Acid will eat away its seasoning. So anything acidic, I don't want to do in either of these two pans. So that makes the stainless steel very, very versatile. Hey, bud. Can you say hey? <laughs> okay, run along, bud. But that's on the camera. Next up, I would add the cast iron. It's pretty good at high temp sears. You can do a big steak in it. But where I use the cast iron the most and what I think it's the best at, especially out of these three, is in making cornbread. I came, I came from the south. My mom made lots of cornbread. We make lots of cornbread around here. So this pan, you can preheat it in the oven, 450 degrees, pour your uh, oil, pour your um, cornmeal batter in there. It will sizzle. You can make fantastic cornbread in a cast iron skillet. You can't really do that with these other ones. Um, when it comes to carbon steel, the next one I would add, I would make this one third because there's a little bit more of a learning curve and a little bit more maintenance with the uh, carbon steel. But what I like this one for is eggs. And I also really like it for high temp sears of meat, things like steaks. So for eggs, you can do eggs in any of these three pans. Uh, I can do decent scrambled in my uh, stainless steel. I can do a Western omelet, I'll do both of those in here. This one's also good for fried eggs, but I can do all those eggs plus French omelets in this carbon steel. I really like this one better for eggs. It's also easier to get any kind of turner or spatula in here, uh, much easier than with the um, cast iron. And with the angle on the edge of the pan, it's also nice for sliding eggs out of the pan and onto a plate. I also like this one better for high temp sears of meat, even though the cast iron is also really good at that, because I can lift this thing up. If I'm gonna sear a steak on my stove top and baste it with butter, with this longer handle, it's easier to lift and get a spoon in there and baste that steak and then finish it off in the oven. But if I could only choose three pans, these three I think would cook darn near anything I can come up with to cook that needs to be in a frying pan on my stovetop and or go to the oven. Scott Ng says he agrees with the three, fr three fry pans model. Uh, he would also add a 10.5 and 12 inch cast iron and an 11 inch de bouillet omelet pan so by my reckoning that would be a six pan three pan strategy which i really do like but that kind of logic often gets me in trouble with my wife 
So that is the three pan strategy. What do you guys think about it? What would you choose if you had to choose three pans? Would you swap one of these out for a nonstick, maybe an enamel cast iron? If so, why would you do that? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time on Uncle Scott's Kitchen.